Tapping into Blue Sun's communications. Stay tight and look out for ambushes. Squad Bravo, a shuttle landed near your location. Check it out. Here we go. Keep close. Shot in the back and left to rot. That's definitely Vito style. Let's push ahead. Sounds like he hasn't changed. Sounds like he needs to get shot. Glad to see you and I agree. I knew he was a sadistic bastard back when we started the Blue Suns. The Suns only got meaner after he staged his little coup 20 years ago. So yeah, we have a past. Why didn't anyone tell me you founded the Blue Suns? Because it's not common knowledge. Vito wiped me out of the records. He ran the books, I led the men. Worked real well for a while. Then Vito decided to start hiring Batarians. Cheaper labor, he said. Goddamn terrorists, I said. Twenty years is a long time to hold a grudge. A grudge? Vito turned my men against me. He paid six of them to restrain me while he put a gun to my head and pulled the trigger. For twenty years I've seen that bastard every time I closed my eyes. Every time I sighted down on a target. Every time I heard a gunshot. Don't you call that a goddamn grudge? You survived a gunshot to the head? Yeah. And you survived your ship getting disintegrated. A stubborn enough person can survive just about anything. Rage is a hell of an anesthetic. We'd better get moving. Zaid Masani, you finally tracked me down. Vito. Don't be stupid, Zaid. I have a whole company of bloodthirsty bastards behind me, ready to kill or be killed on my command. Actually, take your shot. Give my men a reason to put you down like the mad dog you are. Again. What was that? Gone near. 
you sight an old friend. Burn you son of a bitch. You just signed your death warrant, Masani. Opening the gate. Next time you're gonna blow something up, I wanna know about it first. Vito was confident, had a lot of men. Now he's lost the home field advantage. If we keep up the pressure, no way he's getting out of here alive. You don't make a move unless I know about it first. This is my mission. Remember that. I came here to kill Vito Santiago. If you want my help on your mission, you better make damn sure that man dies today. You want him dead? Then he dies. I don't care what else happens, as long as Vito swallows a bullet. Vito's probably halfway to the shuttle docks by now. You're willing to watch these people die? Damn right I am. We stop to help these people and Vito gets away. And if he gets away, I'm blaming you. Let's get moving before Vito gets away. Glad you see it my way. No! Help! No!
20 years ago. Look at you. I did you a favor. Saeed, please. I'm gonna die here, man. Do something. Try, you son of a bitch. got a minute to talk yes good timing in fact excellent made breakthrough can share results while next samples grow hate waiting for culture analysis never fast enough usually no result in advance just checking work have to be careful getting off track discovery based on prothean collector connection can examine technology chart reaper species modification fall of protheans tell me what happened 
Early stages similar to indoctrination can guess captured Prothean's lost intelligence over several cloned generations. Cybernetic augmentation widespread afterward. As Protheans failed, Reapers added tech to compensate. Mental capacity almost gone, replaced by overworked sensory input transfers. Transmitting data to masters. Is there anything we can do to help them? No. No glands replaced by tech. No digestive system replaced by tech. No soul replaced by tech. Whatever they were, gone forever. Understand now? No art, no culture, closer to husks than slaves. Tools for reapers. Protheans dead. Collectors just final insult. Must be destroyed. What is it about the collector's modifications that bothers you so much? Disrupts socio-technological balance. All scientific advancement due to intelligence overcoming, compensating for limitations. Can't carry a load, so invent wheel. Can't catch food, so invent spear. Limitations. No limitations, no advancement. No advancement, culture stagnates. Works other way, too. Advancement before culture is ready. Disastrous. Saw it with Krogan. Uplifted by Salarians. Disastrous. Our fault. You blame the Salarians for what the Krogan did? Yes. Like giving nuclear weapons to cavemen. Krogan unprepared for spaceflight. Technological advance. Krogan could have evolved alone, worked out aggression, been ready to use new tech responsibly. Instead, Salarians came, disrupted Krogan culture, used Krogan as blunt instrument against Rachni. Short-sighted. Foolish. If you feel that way, why did you work on the genophage modification? Talked before. Best option. That, or kill them all. If around during first contact, would have argued against it. Wasn't there then. Do what I can. I didn't think you needed any more motivation than you already had to stop the Collectors. Enjoyed challenge. Saw necessity of attack on Collectors after Plague on Omega. Their work, my people. Hard to care about two armies. One wins, one loses. Always work to do after. Now, have more context. See what Collectors are. Wasn't looking for other work before. Don't mean to imply that. Just committed now. Won't let you down. You said the Collectors had no art. I had no idea you cared about that kind of thing. Personal interest negligible. Sang a little. Multi-species productions for cultural exploration. Gilbert and Sullivan always had me do the patter songs. But not about me. Cultural artistic expression reflects philosophical evolution, interest in growth, perspective, observation, interpretation. Suspect you won't see any art in collector base. Culturally dead. Tools for reapers. Worse than the Geth. I'm sorry. I know that was important, but you performed Gilbert and Sullivan? I am the very model of a scientist Salarian. I've studied species Turian, Asari, and Batarian. I'm quite good at genetics as a subset of biology because I am an expert which I know is a tautology. My xenoscience studies range from urban to agrarian. I am the very model of a scientist Salarian. Thanks for sharing what you've learned, Morton. Proud to be here, Shepard. Thank you for including me. Shepard. Anything new? There is something I've wanted to tell you. I've done many things in my lifetime. I thought the galaxy held nothing new for me. Since joining you, I've realized how much more there is. You must have seen many things in your years of travel. As a maiden, I served as a mercenary. I fought tyrants and pirates. I experienced everything the galaxy has to offer. As a Justicar, I saw parts of a sorry space few know about. I destroyed villages and saved cities. I even fought a Spectre. Why did you fight a Spectre? A Torian named Nihilus. He may have been on council business, but I witnessed him kill an unarmed civilian. Following the code, I attacked. Nihilus seemed like an honorable Turian, and a good Spectre. He may have been. However, killing unarmed civilians is wrong. How did the fight turn out? I had the advantage, but he was good. He returned fire and tried to run. We played cat and mouse in the wilderness for two weeks. It was exhilarating. Finally, he created a situation in which my only options were to let an innocent die or pursue him. The code compelled me to save the innocent, and he escaped. 
I admire how he adapted and used my code against me. When we met, I witnessed you kill a merc who had no chance against you. That mercenary was armed, and I offered her a way out. She chose to ignore it. Why would you destroy an entire village? I tracked Morinth to a remote colony world. She'd perverted an entire town, making them worship her and bring young Asari as sacrifices. When I arrived, she fled, throwing her minions at me in waves. They bought her time with their lives. When it was done, only small children remained. I left them in the Authority's care, and continued my pursuit. What was being a mercenary like? I was a young, impulsive maiden who discovered her talent for combat. I reveled in it, until the day my troop was hired to guard a mysterious shipment on its way to some clandestine drop-off area. I discovered the shipment was slaves, to be traded to the Collectors for advanced technology. You supported the slave trade? In my foolish youth, I'd certainly engaged in questionable practices, but never anything patently unjust. I demanded that we turn around. My mates disagreed. After they were dead, I brought the ship around. The Collector craft was just arriving. They closed, faster than I could flee. Fortunately, we were close to the mass relay. I got through, and they did not pursue. What did you do with all the slaves? I lectured them on the virtues of strength and defending oneself. Then I distributed the armor, weapons, and credits of my dead colleagues, and released the captives on the Citadel. What have your years as a Justicar been like? Mostly tedium and hardship. Traveling on freighters, wandering through rural areas, rooting out injustices big and small, putting down corrupt officials. When I arrive in a remote area, individuals often approach me with matters of justice. My judgment rarely turns out the way they hope. How do you pay for transportation between worlds? Asari captains often welcome Justicars. We reduce pirate attacks. One raid was called off when the pirates were able to verify that I was aboard. We're not done with this yet. I am sure. It will be my honor to be by your side at the end. You think we're all gonna die? You've assembled a powerful group, but we are fighting an unknown. I am ready for whatever comes, but I do not fool myself about our chances. Our lives are secondary to completing the mission. Agreed. <laughs>